So tea is like the energy circulating throughout our body. When one is said to be tea deficient, it will mean that they have lower energy levels. So a tea deficient patient will typically present with fatigue, sharpness of breath, and perspiration even after little physical activity. They also have poorer immunity, as they are more susceptible to a common cold, and as well as they will take longer to recover from illnesses. So there are a few different causes of tea deficiency. Our tea naturally decreases over time as we age, and another factor can be that our overexertion of our tea in our day-to-day -day life. Other factors will include poor diet, poor control of emotions, as well as poor personal habits. So among them, chronic stress as well as sleep deprivation are two of the most common causes of tea deficiency. So tea deficiency is largely related to our spleen as it plays an important role in the digestion of our food as well as the extraction of tea from what we eat. So it's very important to build up our spleen's function to help us boost our tea levels. So at our clinic, we can prescribe oral medication or do acupuncture to help build up our spleen's function to build up our chi. At home, you can choose to massage the acupoint to San Li or stomach 36. So to find the point, you take about 3 inches, which is a 4 fingers wide distance from the outer part of your kneecap. And then you use your finger to press down and then massage until you feel uh, soreness. And then maintain that pressure and massage in a circular motion for 3 to 5 minutes. And then you can repeat on the other side. So you can massage this acupoint for as many times as you like in the day. But since it has a very stimulating effect, you may not want to massage it right before going to bed. For diet, foods that are good to nourish the tea would include barley, sweet potato, mushroom, dates, honey, chicken, and beef. So in general, avoid overexertion that could disrupt your chi and get enough rest, preferably 8 hours a night. It is also important to manage your stress levels and you may choose to engage in activities such as meditation to help calm your mind down. It is also recommended to engage in very simple exercises such as brisk walking or tai chi, or I even recommend an exercise called fa duan jin that you can do at home as well.